it's the local machinery dealership. Tractors everywhere. ATS205, ATS245, I've had one of them, one of them. What's this one here? Another 205. David here's sold us a new piece of equipment. It's the Prison. It's actually a mobile cattle feeder. We're just gonna get it out and put it behind uh, my tractor. Slip it on. For some reason, they put it in the wrong way around, so we can't knock onto it, so we're just getting it out, look. <laughs> That's efficiency at its best. Hey, up! Oh, we've got another sale, look. Yeah, this is Sharp. <laughs> is that who it is? Yeah, yeah. Long-term Chandler's customers. She wants to know what it is. I think we're going to have another sale, because David is about to demonstrate what this does. I'm not David. You're Andrew. I'm Andrew. Andrew's got a YouTube channel. Massey Man. The Massey Man, because he sells Massey tractors. Come on, we want to see what this does. A Walter Watson cattle feeder. So what, what's the point of it? So this is 20 foot long. Is it? The idea is we're going to put four bales in here. Yeah. We can take it to a field, and your old man can go away for a weekend to... Oh, so it's to feed cats. So you fill it with bales, yep. and then you can take it to the field where you've got some sheep or cows or whatever you've got. Yeah. And then you drop it off, and then when it's empty, you bring it back and fill it up. Exactly. And there's a feature on this end where this drawbar actually slides in so the cows don't trip over it. David, Ooh. that is absolutely exceptional. Slide it in. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. And what's the, what, what are these pins here for, then? So all these sides are re removable from, obviously, the centre. Yeah. The front one comes off as well. Uh, and the rear one has actually got a, a gate on it. Oh, is it? So that, can just, that can open at the back. You can have it with wood floor or metal floor. So why have we why have we got wood, why have we got a wood floor? Uh, your dad liked the idea of obviously the gaps between. So if there was any moisture water, it lets it through. Run through. I suppose I'm it's not very too sure if the metal ones actually come with the gaps. I'm pretty sure it probably would. Probably there easier was no to change. In price, I was not. You had metal or or wood. I've got this idea of when like the local town does a floats parade. We could sort of get we could sort of get loads of people inside of it, couldn't we? Like we could go as the local prison, couldn't we? Like hanging on the side, going, going like this or yes. something. But the idea of this, obviously, the cows come up. Feed. Job done. Just let me video that from around here. If you could just put your head in there, now make the noise of a cow. Moo! <laughs> Excellent. I think you've given us a very good demonstration of what it is. Uh, it's all part of it. Thanks for that, David. No problem. Thank you. See you later. So earlier this week, I uh, got a phone call from um, tactical uh, rescue unit, uh, cow stuck in swimming pool. Didn't think anything of it. I thought, well, luckily the 14 tonner was already loaded up. And so I thought, right, off we go. Get there, a cow had jumped in a swimming pool. I've seen here. I thought, yeah, no bother. You, you couldn't get any machines into it because it was like a walled garden, you see. Um, couldn't get anything to it or anything, so I had to like boom over the hedge of this massive digger, right up to it, and then the fire brigade had to sort of come and harness the cow up with a cow sling or whatever they got. And um, yeah, lifted it out. I'll show you a video of that in a minute, lifting this cow out over the hedge. But in the meantime, it seems to have gone pretty viral of this cow that's escaped and wanted to go for a swim in the swimming pool. So the fire brigade had to pump all the water out using a big eight inch pump. And then I had to sort of sling it up and uh, lift it out, lift it up and over the hedge. But look at some of these news reviews. It's Australia, America, every single place in the UK. Um, but the cow's absolutely fine as well. Um, so it's, it's made quite an interesting story. So here's a video of me lifting it out anyway. You have to let me know what you think. So keep going straight up and then we'll get it over. You can see it now. Yeah, I'm all right now. Just go, just watch that. Yeah, i got it. 
So I thought it looked a bit like something from uh, Jurassic Park where the cow gets lifted in and the velociraptor or the dog eats it or something. I just thought it looked quite funny. It's not every day you see a cow flying through the air, is it? So yeah, right, on to the next job. See, what happened was I laid all this nice new concrete so we could load lorries in the middle of the yard. And my dad's come along and literally dumped all that everywhere. So now we can't load lorries. We have to sort of try and work around it all. So, yeah, well, that's what it is, isn't it? So he's got to try and back around there now. And then instead of loading it just here, I've now got to load the lorry all the way over there. Got to move this out of the way now. Is she going to start? I hope so. Oh, oh, oh. It's all covered in bird poo. Oh, I think the rear brakes are locked on. Come on! Ah. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, it's got the tyres flat, isn't it? Come on. That's Paul. Got to move a cherry picker because he wants, well, he's being difficult actually. He wants the lorry with barley and then the trailer with wheat. So he wants half and half. So that's the wheat side, that's the barley side. So now I've got to move the cherry picker and it starts, yes. They look like giant wheat, giant Weetabixes, don't they? You see what I mean? Having to, having to try and manoeuvre around everything. Then he's going to have to pull forward. Go well, show it up. Oh, I'll go get another one then. Go on. Go on. Is that going to fall off? I always get, it, get worried that it's going to fall off. How do you do that so well and I can't? Give her a nudge. Yeah, how do you? Oh, how nice are they? I thought they were all just going to be in a, in a big heap in the box. <laughs> we're going to chuck them over the top now, are we? I don't like chucking them over because... Oh, you make that look so easy. Well, every time I do it, as I sort of swing round, my sort of... My gut comes out and it like it like swings around with me, do you know what I mean? Try to do it that way, don't I? Yeah. I don't I'm trying trying to hold my gut in because when I do it it's like Ooh. Yeah, go on, let it rip. Well it's over, which I think surprises all of us. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Slide it in. Pull her up. Sure you're quick at this, aren't you? Go on. Is that strapped to that one on now? What I did when I bailed these bales, I didn't put much pressure in them. Helpful. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. What are you doing? Can't pick it up. Oh my. Save it in the wild. Come on. Go, go, go. Leave the cat alone. Don't let the dog out. No, don't let the dog out. I got a dog called Winston. He'd hate you. I think we should be loading straw, not striking the cat. Oh, you're not picking it up, are you? Hello, you're going to take it home with you now, aren't you? Ah, come on, you can come with me. Oh, so, ah, that's it. Ah, that's... <laughs> Back into the wheat now. This goes on the trailer because we've loaded the front one. If you sling it back into, the, into it, it sort of pulls them all straight. I made this bale spike a few years ago and uh, I need to make another one really where it's got like a clamp so when you go into it, it sort of, it grabs it. I've seen loads of people have them but I thought I could make my own and make a bit of a video on it but it's having the time to do these things. See, so he has to move, look, just to make it a bit easier. So barley on the lorry, wheat on the trailer. It's all on, we're all done, another job done. I'm going back to you, Tox, to near the JCB factory. A few clips I forgot to add in from digging the tunnel. Just 
uh, doing a bit of graveling this morning and I'm going to show you my technique of graveling so we don't have to wheelbarrow it and rake it about and everything putting it on top of the limestone so here we go let's go there we go first bit and back again and then go around next to it and then go over the top just to top it up nicely Get nice and close to the edge. Easy, isn't it? All finished gravelling up and we've just rolled some turf out as well. Absolutely lovely.